two minutes left. Blazers in overtime, leading by two. Sharp again. They want the screen with Tumani. They're not getting it. Shea draws a foul anyway. Now, see, so Coach Billups, he's calling Tumani over. He's trying to tell him how he wants him to set that screen. Because right now, they want the ball in this man's hand. Making moves like that. <laughs> Terrific extension. Yeah. To go up over that's, Jackson like that. That's what we were talking about in that third quarter, I believe it was. When he goes with that right arm, he just extends over everybody else. Grant in deep, gives to Aiden, squares up, pumps it up from about 15 feet out, rimming into the hands of Jackson. Two point lead, Blazers. 140 to go in the overtime. Bain to midcourt. Being hounded by Grant, who is clipped on the screen by Jackson. He'll pop out and get the pass. Aiden recovers, and Jackson on the deck to tie the game. He's made some three-point shots, Kev, in this game. So he is being respected as a shooter after 4-7 from the three-point line. Jackson with 27. Again, it's sharp outside. 4-3. Yes, sir! Shane and sharp! Giving the Blazers a lead of three. 116 left in the overtime. And the young man has 20 on the night. He had 29 against Detroit a few nights ago in the win. 26 in the second half. That was brilliant at crunch time. Bain overrunning his grant. Bain will drive it into the lane. Gets into Kamara. And a blocking foul on Jumani Kamara. Now, if there's any doubt on this play. The officials can look at this. It's a trigger, restricted area trigger. Well, you can't go under on shade. You can't lose sight of them. You can't give them space. Oh. Oh, he's ready for the big moments. Now, hey. It would have been nice to have the officials check out that replay on that it's not a coach's challenge but it's a restricted area trigger when you're in the last two and it's if there's doubt that tumani is in the restricted area there he's clearly out so the officials feeling like there's no need to go and review it but if they review it they can not only see is he in the restricted area they can see was he legal was he set before the upward shooting motion started and it looks like that might have been a block regardless. Bain goes to work, hits the two free throws. Blazers will lead to one, 57 seconds remaining. And Sharp will bring it across. Aiton will screen. Right, now he's getting a superstar treatment. Double team, now his teammates can play with numbers. Memphis gets back though. Brogdon, outside to Grant. Turns, squares, hits the three-point shot. 39 seconds remaining. Grant drills a three. The Blazers lead by four. Memphis calls time. Run in there. Smart makes contact with Brogdon and falls to the floor. Pops out to get the rock. Here comes Jackson. Good with switch. It. Good switch, Samani. Checked by Kamara. He keeps his feet over to Smart. Trying to straight arm. Nearly lost it inside of Tillman. He lost it as he went up. Batted by Aiden. Recovered by Brogdon. They've got a foul. And they do. Blazers leading by four. 49 and nine ten seconds. Four, 24 and nine tenths remaining. Well executed defense. The Blazers switch out. Jackson Jr. runs to the top. Tumani is there. Hand up to deter a shot. Malcolm Garden on the ball. Does a good job. DeAndre alert down there. Once again leading his team in steals. Got three tonight. Four if they gave him credit for that one. Brogdon splits a pair. Blazers lead by five. 24 and 9, 10 seconds remaining. Coach Billups wants his team to pick up full court to again try to force as much time off the clock. But you don't want to get beat and give a direct line drive here. Good job from Malcolm to now give the necessary separation. Smart quickly into the air. Just floats one in the air right to Kamara. Memphis has crumbled over the last two possessions. Sharp trying to keep Bain at bay and a foul stopping the clock with 11 and 8, 10 seconds. And the Blazers leading by five. Well, coming off of 
a great game in which he took over the second half completely at Detroit. Look at Coach Billups. Look at CB. He got the head sweat. It's beating up. It's falling down the forehead. I mean, he is out there with his guys. He looks like a fight doctor. Yeah. And he's watching his young superstar continue to ascend. Shaden Sharp. Sharp 22, two big free throws again. 115, 108. Smart into the lane, bowls his way down to the block to lay it up and in. Six and seven, 10 seconds remaining. Blazers will bring it in. Grant. Coach has a timeout if he needs to, needs to use it. There he called it. He called it before the ball was inbounded. Blazers up five with possession, six and seven tenths away. Just throw jump ball. Brogdon inbounds to Grant, waiting for what's to come. Ball That's stripped fine. free. Jackson with it, pushes a three up there, got it. With five tenths of a second remaining. Just Blazers throw to the lead by two. Grant just needs go. to get it in bounds and does. And that will be that. Blazers win in overtime and win an in-season tournament game in their first attempt at this new format. Brogdon and Smart come to midcourt. They meet one another, the ex-teammates from a year ago at Boston. And for Shaden Sharp, the growth curve continues. 22 points, five rebounds. Clutch free throws. Clutch plays as well. Does Coach know he's still got the towel around that may be a, He's going to the locker room with the a, towel. Maybe a trademark for yeah, him. Yeah, that's a new thing. On. He got to have a gotta towel. have the towel. <laughs> Now, what an effort from Portland tonight.